So let me answer it for you. Yes. Okay, that's it. End of video. <laughs> yeah, you have different types, not like what you see in the movies. You're looking at one. Well, I should say it's in my bloodline. And if you tune into my live stream on October 31st, you will see exactly what I mean. Now, for me, it's for stimulation and elevation. It's a different type. Stimulation meaning what you receive when you get a deep tissue massage. Elevation is the equivalent of how you feel after a workout. Yeah. Well, I should say after you've been working out for six months. <laughs> right? Because the very first workout, if you haven't been working out, you don't feel very elevated. <laughs> but yes, stimulation, elevation, that would be the type of vampire I am. I guess what would be the equivalent? Hmm, maybe perhaps this gentleman. Now, of course, even though he was a part of them, he wasn't necessarily doing the same things that they were doing. He had a different purpose. So that would be me. The type of vampire that exists, that can be deadly, is one that I will call validation vampires. Validation vampires, the ones who prey upon your emotions, and then they turn you. The ones who know that you seek validation, so they use that, they use it against you. And they use different platforms, hell, even this platform that I'm on right now is a part of the vampire. Ah! That's the name I'll call it, yes. So we go down the list. You have Facebook, right? YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. What else? Oh, yeah, the new one, TikTok. It's only been around for, what, five years? I'll throw in OnlyFans in there, too. <laughs> yeah, these platforms are used. Validation vampires. You know, you think of the concept of getting a light click, sharing and all of that, or just the light click. When you look at that, why do you need it on these platforms? If you don't get it, how do you feel? You don't feel a part of the group. You don't feel accepted. You don't feel validated, right? People understand this. What I speak of is nothing new. And then some of you are familiar with a thing called energy vampires. That's a different category on its own. Validation vampires, the ones who prey upon your need for validation. Now, when you think of pre-internet, or let's just say pre-social media, how did the validation vampires work? They didn't have the tool of social media, so what did they do? Well, it's the lifestyle. Well, there was mainstream media. Of course, government has been around, sure. This idea of certain lifestyles and certain uh, ideas related to acceptance within a group. You think of the guy who is in high school and maybe he's not necessarily accepted into certain groups. He's sort of ostracized and, you know, he sees that group over there, the jock. And so then he gets out of high school and decides to create a rock band and life change. So now he's getting all the ladies validation, makes him feel accepted. You know, you think of the lady who is sort of not getting the love that she feels the need to get. And so she joins a particular movement. Right. Even in the movements, there are validation vampires mm. oh yeah they exist everywhere now that we have social media they use the tool mm. and they all came to a really high level right around 2013 so now you have everyone trying to join these movements and these groups because they don't have the weapons that defeat the validation vampire logic intuition and inner strength. See, the human being can be emotional. They have emotions. Some people get emotional when they see commercials on TV. 
when they see something online, they get emotional. They react emotionally. The way you defeat the validation vampire is by using your logic more, using your intuition more, your first gut instinct, immediate, right? Your gut is never wrong, by the way. And then there's the inner strength. Now, these are all pieces that are developed in your earlier years, during your childhood. So if this is not cultivated by your parents, then there's sort of a weakness there. And that's what they prey upon. The validation vampires sink their teeth into those who do not have inner strength, to those who do not use their logic. You do not need validation from anyone because you have everything that you need. But you don't realize this. You think you don't. You have been convinced that you don't. So this idea of getting validation from others becomes elevated in your mantra, in your ideology, in every, it becomes embedded in the fabric of your being. And it's cultivated throughout your life. Remember, your childhood has a lot to do with your adulthood. So if you were to go back to age six, seven, eight, nine, ten, middle school, look at all of the perceptions that were instilled in your mind during that time when you were between the ages of, let's say, 12 to 18, planted in your head through the system that you're a part of, the validation vampires sunk their teeth into your mental cavity. And so then you turn and you become them and it becomes a cycle on and on and on. Validation vampires, they're everywhere. Beware. Again, there are some of us who have it in our blood, but we use it for a different reason. We use our ability to elevate and stimulate you to remind you of what you can do. So it's a different type. So there it is. By the way, tune in on October 31st, right here on my channel. I have a live stream coming up and you shall see me transform. <laughs>